In this episode, I'm gonna show you an avenue in real estate that no one else is thinking about, no one else is doing. I was just having this conversation with one of my mentors and he said, always swim upstream. Do go exact opposite of what the crowd's doing, especially in real estate. So in this video, I'm gonna show you, is vacant land a good investment for wholesaling? All right, I got so many things to unpack in this video. One, I'm gonna give you the five reasons why I love land so much. Two, I wanna break down the contracts that we use to wholesale vacant land. And three, stick around, I've got a free gift for you. All right, the five reasons why Brent Bowers loves land so much. You know, one, it's giving me financial freedom that I never thought possible. Guys, I was in the military. I was working like 13 hours a day. I had, you know, a brand new family and I just was never home. I was always gone. Like my weekends, like I would just, like they would just get like it sucked in a vacuum. They were gone before they even started. I'd be miserable on the weekends because I would think about going back to work and my work was just so stressful, but I didn't have financial freedom. I didn't have savings. My house wasn't paid off. I had a car payment. I had all these bills, three children in diapers, and I did not have financial freedom until, until I found vacant raw land. It provided me financial freedom. I mean, some of my first land purchases were $285, $5,000, $25,000. Like you might be thinking, oh my God, I don't have $25,000. Guys, neither did I. I got the property under contract for $25,000. It was worth a hundred and I sold my contract. I sold it to a cash buyer that just paid me a little over what I had it under contract for. I actually sold it for $38,000. So I had it under contract for 25, I sold it for $38,000. That was $13,000 within a couple days from the time I got this property under contract. And by the way, it was from a bank. They had it, they were trying to get it off their books. So they allowed me to get a 30 day contract and I assigned that contract within about a week and a half and I made a quick $13,000 profit. All right, that was number one, financial freedom. Number two, time freedom. How in the world do you get time freedom buying vacant wholesale land? When I say wholesale, I mean, I'm literally getting it for a discount. You know, Warren Buffett talks about the margin of safety. Margin of safety, all that is is we're not paying what the land is worth, we're paying a discount. Like say for instance, the land's worth 100,000 and we're getting it at 60,000. Well, we're getting a discount of literally 60 cents on the dollar. We're getting 40% off. Like if you went to Macy's and bought a bunch of clothes and they said, hey, we're gonna give you 40% off today. All you gotta do is give us your email. You would give them your sister's email just to get that 40% off. We're talking about a piece of raw vacant land that you can go and farm and live on, touch, camp, whatever you wanna do, 40% percent off. Let that sink in. You get an asset under contract at 50, 60 cents on the dollar. Do you think you're going to have a hard time selling it to someone at maybe 70 cents on the dollar where they get a 30 percent discount? You got it at 50 percent on the dollar. You're selling it to them at 30 cents off. So technically you got it at, under contract for 50,000. You're selling it for 70,000. It's worth 100. You make a quick $30,000 difference. But I digress. The time freedom. Why I love land so much. How does it give me time freedom? Every time I sell a piece of land to someone and I take payments, I give them a note, I do a contract for deed where they're gonna make payments to me for the next five, 10, maybe 30 years, I've now created 30 years of payments coming in. Let's just say I only do 10 of these a year for the next five years. Five years at 10, that gives me 60 payments for the next 30 years, 60 payments. And let's just say it's, I don't know, $1,000 a month. You do the math. That is amazing time freedom. Number three, geography freedom. Guys, I started my business in Colorado and I just recently moved to Florida. My Colorado business is, is screaming. The land deals are in Colorado. The land deals are in Arizona. The land deals are also in Florida. I'm in three states right now and that gives me geography freedom. I don't have to go see the property. There's other people that will go look at it. There's people that, there's photographers that will take pictures of it for me. You can look at it from satellites. Google Earth is just absolutely phenomenal, like you can zoom in. I've literally bought a junkyard before on accident because I didn't look on Google Earth, like dummy me. That's where I do the due diligence checklist now, you know, and I provide that. Hey, I'll give you a free gift right now. If you want that due diligence checklist that I do, that my team does every single time we buy a property, head over to thelandsharks.com forward slash DD as in due diligence or Delta Delta. You can find that link below in the description. All right, before I get to the 
fourth reason of why I love land so much, go ahead and slam that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button and also go ahead and give me a like too. I know I'm giving you such great content. This is gonna help you explode your land business and maybe you're just thinking about getting started in land. Hit that subscribe button. Guys, I've literally got YouTube University for you for free. I give you so much land investing tips on this channel. Hit the subscribe button. All right, number four, virtually no competition. That's the fourth reason why I love land so much. And you might think, well, Brent, if it's so darn good, why is there no competition or why is no one else doing it? Remember what I talked to you about swimming upstream, doing exactly what the crowd is not doing, doing the opposite? You know, I quote Warren Buffett quite a bit. A huge fan of him. Like the guy is like just brilliant. He reads constantly. Like he's so smart. Warren Buffett says, when everyone else is selling, that's when I buy. When everyone else is buying, that's when I'm going to sell. Well, let me just tell you right now, the crowds, what the crowd is doing, what the masses are doing is not that. Warren Buffett's an outlier. He's like sitting on the side, like he's just his own like unique like human being because when the real estate market explodes, everyone goes out and rushes and buys a house because the interest rates are down right now and everyone just wants to get in. Like, oh, I wanna be a real estate investor. Every time the market is hot, more people jump into it and start buying and then also inflate that market even more. Well, what Warren would be doing at this time is selling. He wouldn't be jumping into the buying process. And that's kind of like why I love land so much because not everyone is jumping into it. Like most people don't realize what they can do with land. And the reason why I believe there's no competition in it is because you yourself watching this video, think about the land you've driven by in the last couple weeks. How many times have you looked at a piece of land and realized, how do I make money with that? Or maybe I should buy that. Most people don't look at that because there's no house on it. There's no mobile home. There's no mobile home park. There's no storage units. They don't see a way to make money with it. But let me tell you the way to make money with it. You buy it at a massive discount and you turn around and sell it to someone at a premium or retail price. What do I mean when I say premium and retail price? What does Ford Motor Company do? What does Chevrolet do? What does Dodge do? They sell these vehicles and they offer the financing. If you walk on a car lot, as long as you got a pulse and you know somewhat of a like a decent job and a credit history, you're leaving with the car. They figure out what can you afford each month, and that's kind of what we've done with the land. We're able to sell it at premium and retail prices if we allow someone to make monthly payments. Americans think, what is it gonna cost me each month? Not what's the total cost. That's how I'm able to sell land that most people can't sell and at prices that most people can't sell it for because I offer the easy finance. I'm offering the land that I bought at a massive discount. I'm offering it to them at retail prices. So when I say retail prices, if it's worth a hundred thousand, I'm selling it at a hundred thousand, but I'm also charging interest on it. So I'm getting premium for it. So that's what I mean by premium retail price. And that's why there's virtually no competition in land. And number five, my final point, it's easy. There's no roofs to repair. There's no foundations to fix. There's no plumbing to pipe. Like you don't have to worry about any of that. It's just a piece of land. And most of the time it doesn't even have a culvert or a driveway or a well or a septic, nothing on it. It's super simple. All right, next, as promised, I'm gonna talk about breaking down the contracts. You know, the question was, is wholesaling land a good deal to wholesale, a good real estate investment? Absolutely 100% it is. And I'm gonna give you as free gifts the exact contracts that I use. One is the purchase agreement to buy this land from a seller, say for instance, the land's worth 100,000, I'm getting it under contract for $50,000. I've got an asset under contract at 50 cents on the dollar. I'm gonna get that thing under contract with the land seller, and then I'm gonna sell my contract that I just got to a cash buyer for let's just say $10,000 profit to me. So I'm gonna sell this contract that I've got on this piece of land. Let me, let me make that clear. I accidentally just said I'm selling the land. I gotta be careful. I, I can't act as a realtor. I can't physically buy and sell land for other people. I'm not a licensed real estate agent. You definitely wanna run this by your real estate attorney and make sure that you can legally sell your contract to a cash buyer. But in this case, this example, and these free gifts I'm providing for you are the contracts that I'm using, but I'm gonna sell my purchase agreement to a cash buyer over here for a quick $10,000 assignment fee. That's my fee to me for selling this contract. So. My buyer's buying it for 60,000, I'm buying it for 50,000, the seller's getting paid 50,000, I'm keeping that extra 10,000. The difference between 60 and 50 goes to me, and my free gifts to you today are below in the description, and that contract that I'm using, the purchase agreement that I'm getting with the seller is, the link is, 
thelandsharks.com forward slash contract. Click that link. I'm going to ask you for your name and your email, and I'm going to provide that purchase agreement that I use that's made me millions of dollars in revenue. And then the second one is the assignment agreement that I use to sell my contract with the seller to a cash buyer. And go to the link that's below in the description, and that's thelandsharks.com forward slash assign, A-S-S-I-G-N, and it's below in the description.